Hello and welcome to Gadget TV. My name is Mike, this is Nick. Hi. And today we've got the 2019 Gadget Classic. We have indeed, yeah. The brand new classic that's come out. Brand new one. Uh, cosmetically, not a lot different. No. But there are a few uh, big changes yes. to the machine. Let's talk about what you get inside the box first, shall we? Okay, yeah. So you're going to open the box. You get the machine. You get a machine. <laughs> uh, the accessories that you get with it, uh, obviously you get a plastic tamper and a scoop yep. for your coffee. This is seven grams of coffee. And then we get tr two traditional baskets. Right, and that means that they've got the, the holes in the bottom and the holes in the top. Yeah, perforated right the way through. All the way through. And then you also get a perfect crema basket. Yeah, and this one has the void in here, which helps you get the crema. You do need one of these as well. That comes with the machine. You get a crema pin in the box. Don't drop it or lose it, it's very easy to do. But this helps you get the crema while you're just learning how to use the machine, and then you can graduate onto one of these when you're feeling more confident. And we've spoken about that before already, but so pre-ground, pre-bought, yeah. pre-ground coffee. So yes. and your, your basic tins, your work, yeah. famous brands, always a little bit coarser ground mm. than you would normally do to get a perfect espresso. So the perfect crema basket helps you get a fantastic looking uh, coffee. But when you get a little bit more skilled, or if you yeah. go up to a grinder yourself, then you it's these two that you'd the traditional want. baskets, really. Um, so You get the handle as well. The handle is a slightly redesigned all chrome um, handle with the chrome effect on the end here, and is, yeah. the splitter is a metal one as well. It is, yeah. Brass underneath. Yeah. Chrome plated brass. Yeah, that's but the, yeah. The, split, the splitter's also gone back to chrome now as well. And uh, for eagle eye viewers, there you'll see the uh, little overflow. Yeah, and here. why is it you're going to need one of those? Well, the valve has changed. I'm gonna, uh -huh. You've gone, you're making that look very easy. I, <laughs> so, try and do it from the side. Okay, so the, the valve on the what we call the 2015 model yeah. was a mechanical valve. It was. And that was a change from a solenoid valve, which right. had been previously. This has now gone back to a solenoid valve. It has, yes. Very briefly, pros and, pros and cons. Uh, the, the, the solenoid valve uh, gets a slightly more definite flow. So because it's a positive action valve when you open it and close it, yeah. you um, can more distinctly switch between the coffee coming out of the brew head and the, coffee co and the water and the steam coming out of here. So you don't get the dripping that you good, sometimes yeah. get from a mechanical valve down here. The cons of it, it does require slightly more maintenance. You've really got to st stay on top of your yeah. descaling. The mechanical valves are slightly easier to clean and slightly easier yeah. to maintain, as you say, really. So, the, the, but the solenoid valve definitely gets this cut off as soon as you yeah. push the uh, the stop button on here. So, then the overflow just comes out of this and straight into your drip tray, really. Uh, the other thing that's changed, obviously, the switch bank has changed a little yeah. bit. It's, it's still gone, a kind of touch it button. It is. Um, it's gone back to rocker switches. It though. has really, yeah. The big difference again, we have reversed now to the more traditional boiler, the aluminium. The aluminium boiler, one. yeah. With the two elements on it. Again, pros and cons of both. The stainless steel one is slightly more robust, the aluminium one has got slightly better thermal transfer, so you get a slightly more stable temperature in this one. It has a slightly smaller capacity than the other one. It well, does as well, yeah. Add yeah. more than adequate capacity oh, for yeah, yeah. steam arm. And the most exciting for me change on the machine Are you gonna? is the wand. The actual yeah, steam wand the here. The steam wand itself, yeah. We've gone over to a sort of professional style steam wand with two outlets here, which sprays the water out. Uh, so there's no panorama on this machine. No. Uh, we'll show you in a second uh, the steaming, uh, the milk steaming uh, possibilities of this machine. Yeah. And uh, you need to learn it. It is a bit of a skill. With yes, this, it is. Um, with the panorama, gives you a little bit of more tolerance and mm -hmm. a little bit more air intake. Whereas this one, there's a little bit. Of yeah, a, you're going to have to do that surf, uh, surfing of the temperature uh, of the milk surface. A little, but it's, surface. it's very good, very yeah. efficient, and a little bit quicker to froth the milk it as is. well. So although you've got a slightly smaller capacity in the boiler, steaming capacity. It's a faster steam. It is. So you don't need I mean, I've frothed three cappuccinos in a row with this thing, and that's easily. not really been a problem. Yeah, no, very easily, yeah. So that's the kind of the contents of the box. Uh -huh. So we're going to show you it in action. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to steam the milk, so this is a professional steam arm. It's a professional steam arm, so it's slightly different to the ones that have been on all the other domestic yeah. machines for quite a long time now. I've, for, I've done uh, this before in a different video, but oh. I'm actually going to unscrew this and show you. You can do this for cleaning, but yeah. you do get the two holes in the bottom. Uh, which I will focus on. There we go. You get the two holes in the bottom, which the steam comes out of. It does. So there's no air intake other than that. Or there's no uh, there's no place for heating or steaming. And that's the only escape route uh -huh. for the steam. So we've got we've pushed the steam button on here. Okay. So Let a little bit of the pressure out. Okay. Yep. It's fine. And now we just literally submerge the end. Uh -huh. And now you want to let a little bit of air in. Yeah. Uh, just literally bringing it down. A little yeah, bit so of air in. Surfing the, um, yeah. sur the, the wand on the top of it. I mean, this isn't a milk frothing tutorial. No. This is a little bit. Now, if you want, as you say, I'm, I'm going into full milk tuition here. Uh, if you want a cappuccino milk, you bounce it now. Yeah. This is how you're going to get a lot of air into it. But I'm going for the microphone. So I'm just literally, I've got some air in initially. Uh -huh. Now we're just holding it till we get to that magic 65, 70 degrees yeah. temperature. And you can see there, there's a few big bubbles. We'll get rid of those in a second. Must remember this isn't a milk tuition. No. But there we go. I mean, if you do <laughs> so, want a milk tuition, I'll put the card on here 
for you, the links for you to uh, go and look at that. So we're getting out of temperature, turn off, and there we go. Brilliant. So we've got the cloth, can you just yep. pass my cloth? So there's some fantastic microfoam milk, and first thing to always do is to just get rid of yeah. any milk residues on the top there. As Mike's already said, we can take this little nozzle off if we want to. The and thing you can do is purge the wand. I'm going to purge the wand, so we're just going to let this down and open up into the drip tray. Into the drip tray, and there we go, fantastic. And that's really cleaned all the milk residues out of that. And again, just another little wipe down. Always make sure that's clean. Some lovely microfoam milk there. So the final thing we're going to do is we're going to pour a couple of espressos using it because that's the main thing it does. And yep. we're going to talk about some of the accessories that you can buy along with your classic to yeah, kind of already, soup it up. Yeah, we've said what you get in the box. So you yes. obviously, you know, the tamper, etc. Mm -hmm. But as, uh, as you said, Mike, you've got some uh, bits there that you can add on. I mean, this would be the very first thing I would change is yeah. if I was going to upgrade it, I would go straight to a metal tamper yeah, almost the, immediately. Tamper, yeah. um, not that that one isn't adequate for its purpose, but this will really help you perfect that espresso. I think so. I think especially if you're graduating to a traditional basket. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, very much so. If you're going to use pre ground coffee, then not, not so much. Not so much. But and, and as you say, you can get a, a good. With yeah. That, but that just, just feels nice. Yeah. It's nice and um, nice. And while we're at the traditional basket, yeah. you could also get a grinder. This is the MDF grinder, yeah. and it is the one that is designed to pair with this particular machine. It's perfect grinder for it, it really. Is. You've got 34 settings, which yeah. may be a few. Too more many, than, but, you need. Yeah, more than, but, but hey. it turns what you're using. And also, obviously, if you're using other types of coffee makers, yeah. So if you've got a filter coffee maker, well. or you want to make Turkish coffee, or you want to do got cold this brew, set on two. Yeah, and I've never really got about four or five. Depending Not on for the espresso. Brew. No. So you, yeah, if it's only for that, yeah, that's what. It, but as you say, if you're doing cold brew, then it's, you, can you do want to be way coffee. up in the 30s for cold brew. Yeah, yeah. Coffee press or whatever you can do it, can't you? So um, yeah, the the grinder. We've also then got the. This is the so, so this is a hole is the classic coffee station. It is, yeah. Is is the um, the, the twenty nineteen classic the MDF grinder and then this plastic base. Which we move everything out of the way. You can yeah. see there's got the knockout box here, which you can knock your coffee into. It's got support for the grinder and it also has a nice place for the yeah. classic sits nice to sit on. It looks very nice. Yeah, holds it all together really really well. I'm going to say we sell that as a as a, as a kit. We do coffee we do. station. Two other things you've got there as well. Yeah, if you want a more metallic look, so if you've got a lighter kitchen or you just want to upgrade to metal, then these two form part of our deluxe coffee station, which, so you've got the metal knockout box, which goes just here. Yeah, it's more, um, of a, more of a professional one, really. It's it is, quite a yeah. bigger capacity, and so the, st the stainless steel looks really good as well. Doesn't it? And then this is a replacement drip tray, which is a steel drip tray that fits the classic right here. And this one's good because it's got a slightly lower profile, mm. so you can fit a broader spectrum of cup. Cups come in spectrums, I'm sure they do. Uh, you could fit a broader spectrum that, of cup yeah. on top of this thing. Yeah, if you use a lot of lattes. I mean, espresso machines are generally used for shot glasses. They are, and yeah. So there's always, uh, you know, the clearance is always quite small, really. So this does give you that little bit extra uh, if you need that. And I think, again, it looks, it looks quite neat in the, in the machine. So if we pop a couple of cups under there, we are preloaded ready. We've ground yeah, coffee. We have done to that. Number two yep. on this one. And we've got the traditional basket yep. in here. So this is a traditional double basket. Yes. So we're going to pull two espressos at once, which obviously you can do. And there we go. Oh, we missed. We missed it. Yeah, that's always a thing. So we're looking for that sort of 25 second yeah. extraction time, really, as we've covered in uh, another uh, video. And you are really looking for that really thick crema. We've got yeah. quite a dark, robusta, heavy coffee we in this. We certainly have. Which is why it's coming out with, it, it's actually pouring about half and half crema in coffee right now. It is. Which yeah. is. This is the Corposa bean. Again, we've covered that on our coffee. We have, we talked about that. And it's if you really want a real authentic, heavy, as you say, a yeah. robusta, heavy. Uh, coffee this yeah, if we halt it there, we've got a couple of ristrettos bordering on... I'm, I'm actually just going to steal this one. Oh yeah. yeah, go for it, go for it. That'll wake you up. Mm -hmm. Definitely, very nice. So that is a traditional basket with that. Fantastic. Yeah. And we've used the uh, this stainless steel drip tray as well. So those are the two options. And I say, you, it's various combinations. You can buy these separately yeah. or as part of the or package. So we've got kind of two stations, haven't we? One yeah. with the plastic base, one with the, the steel base. Uh, and that's the main accessories that we have available. Yeah, if you want any of these things, they're on our website, which is www.gadgetdirect.com. The link to that is just down there in the description. Please like the video, talk to us on social media, and don't forget to subscribe.